All right. So Ryan, we find ourselves talking again. Why all the hype around, you know, zero trust network access, ZTNA? You see it in the news every day about all these different security incidences, breaches, ransomware attacks, data exfiltration. I think what people have come accustomed to is I have a username and password and I authenticate to my network and then I'm just, I'm trusted. I'm implicitly, maybe we kind of can call it the easy button in in some sort of way with the pandemic and working from home. Am I on network? Am I off network? How do I get to my cloud resources? Kind of rethinking how we're trusting access to our applications can help close our security perimeter and give us a better experience overall. Zero trust, software defined perimeter, SD-WAN, it's all a part of that sassy theology or that that sassy model that, that Gartner and some others are putting out there. So what you guys see here is uh, is the model for zero trust. So before we even dive into that, um, let's actually talk about the traditional route of just using a normal VPN. Typically, what you would do is, you know, you as your user, uh, here is where, uh, whether it, you're using um, AD or some other kind of authentication, it would send you back an IP address. There, that's when, you know, that VPN would allow you to connect to any of these apps um, yeah, on your internal network. So the, the challenge with this though, is once you're you're in, you're in. So you could, you know, go from this app to this app or this app to some of these other ones that we don't even have listed here. So I think of whether it's a, a, a corporate owned device or a BYOD device, bring your own device type, uh, whatever is on that endpoint has free reign to go laterally move throughout the network. And that's just a huge, uh, huge vector for things like again, ransomware, malware, key loggers, all sorts of malicious things to get into your network and wreak havoc. All right, so let's actually walk through the framework for, for Zero Trust. Now, so again, you've got your cloud apps here, you know, you've got yourself as your individual user. You still have all of your on-premise apps over here. But here in the middle, you're gonna see two things. You're gonna see a proxy or your reverse proxy, and this is gonna be used to help broker the access to your internal networks. And then you also have your, you know, your single sign-on server, and this is going to help uh, not only authorize but also authenticate. So these two are going to continue to to work uh, in tandem with each other. Um, so if I wanted to connect to our organization's cloud ERP, what I would do is I would send my request uh, request through the uh, to the proxy, the proxy and the single sign-on. This is where all the credentialing, all the authentication is going to happen. And then once that's done, or once that's been established, it will allow me to uh, uh, to connect directly to the ERP and only to that ERP. Yeah, and, and what it's really doing right there is whether it's a cloud app or an on-premise app, is it's building this encrypted tunnel from the endpoint through that proxy right into the application. Whether it's the ERP system, whether it's something internal over like the SSH application, those are individually encrypted tunnels for that specific traffic to to that resource, to that application. And it's gonna help prevent not only things like man in the middle attacks, but that lateral movement between either on-premise or even in cloud and, and you know hybrid cloud type environments. So yeah, th so those are really the two brains, that proxy or that controller and that single sign-on or your identity source, making sure that the user is authenticated something that they know, username and password, something that they have, like a push app on their phone, uh, or, or even a hardware key, like a FIDO2 hardware key, um, as well as authorized to actually see what those applications are. Uh, two, two very important things that a VPN in and of itself isn't, isn't gonna allow you to do. It's a, it's a lot to think about, but bring some great resources like us in and let, <laughs> us, let us help, let us help. Yeah, absolutely, all right. Well, Ryan, as always, it's always fun mm -hmm. having these conversations with you. So, um, uh, so yeah, uh, everybody uh, look out for our next video. It may continue on with Zero Trust. It may be a little bit of a spinoff of uh, Zero Trust. Maybe we talk about SaaS. So again, uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, or hey, if you think we're just completely wrong, put it I'm in the comments me. below and, uh, and let us know. But uh, yeah, talk to everybody soon. Thanks.